my exhaust pipe look okay? <laughs> Does my exhaust pipe look okay? Uh, thank you so much for joining Complicated Conversation in the post 9-11 era. And uh, I am so honored to have you join us. And you are, I know you a little bit. Well, I know you as my instructor, um, skydiving. But can you tell our viewers um, who a little bit of background, who you are and your experience and your interest in aviation? Okay. Uh, my name is Van Prey Jr. And then uh, I've got a little ranch here in Missouri. We call it the Flying V Ranch. And uh, V stands for Van. Van, yes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and so uh, uh, my background in aviation. My dad was a pilot, and then uh, I was born on an Air Force base out in California. Uh, grew up at the airport. My dad uh, owned a skydiving school, so that's where I learned to skydive. Work on airplanes, fly airplanes, uh, and then being in the Mojave Desert in California, uh, I had the opportunity to 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 work on and deal with and be with a lot of people in experimental aircraft, in experimental modification aircraft. of airplanes and that type of stuff. Yeah, and uh, so you've been involved in NASA. Yeah, I was a pilot for NASA for four years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that uh, continue your interest in experimental aviation, being being around uh, in in NASA and stuff like that. Um, yeah, already prior to that. Prior to that. Right, I was already you know uh, uh, into aircraft, uh, you know modification, experimental airplanes. That only gave me better uh, people to talk to and learn from and and that type of stuff. Well, yes, and, and I was really excited. Um, first of all, right here, this is a, a place, like you said, you own this, and we you talk about we have this uh, very special aircraft that you built. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, first of all, we're sitting on this, uh, <laughs> on a, on a, ch a historic chair. I, I believe I believe this is a historic chair and sure. that was used. Uh, your dad, uh, th th your dad owned this. Oh, right, right, right. No. And... Uh, is it Katie Kurt? No. No, no, it's... Tom Cruise did an interview on and with his P-51 Mustang in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so they used my dad's hangar in California. In California. And so they used my dad's hangar, and, uh, and so this is the table and chairs that they sat on. <laughs> so it's very special. So um, with the ba and the background, what you have here... Um, this is a, it starts off as a Cessna U-206. And the U stands for utility. Um, the utility is it has a cargo door on the back, mm -hmm. um, so you can load it with large items, even 55 gallon drums. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll hold, uh, normally it's a, a pilot and five passengers, so it'll, it has six seats. An engine. And now the, and then the, so that's what it starts off with, and then it normally has a uh, large six cylinder, okay. um, uh, naturally aspirated engine. And so, um, Kind of your regular combustion engine, like similar to your uh, big Volkswagen engine. All right. Okay. And then, um, in particular, 300 horsepower Volkswagen engine. And then, in, uh, and what I've done is I've taken a modern turboprop engine, like on a small airliner, and then I've placed that on the aircraft. The uh, in its application on on uh, in, in today's airplanes, it's a 550 horsepower engine. Okay. Versus the 300 horsepower. Cessna still makes this airplane new. So Cessna makes this airplane with the piston version. And then, uh, so you can buy one of these planes from Cessna brand new. Um, but you're still dealing with that limitation, which is that piston engine. The piston engine requires a lot of maintenance um, and specialized fuel, um, leaded gasoline. And so the, um, uh, this, this combination, the, the modern engine is uh, much less maintenance required, better dispatch reliability, mm -hmm. and then uses Jet A fuel, which is just a kerosene fuel, which is a, a very, uh, um, it's, it's actually much cheaper than the leaded gas and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it uses a, a, a more common fuel. So since you started building this, how, how much work and how much time you have put in this aircraft? Um, with everything uh, that uh, you've done? I thought about it for a couple years prior. So stand in the shower and draw in the shower. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm not the only person to have thought of this right. concept. Right. Um, only the 
I'm the only one so far dumb enough to do it. So, <laughs> or uh, right. the and, and most capable person been, uh, to do so it. So once we uh, began the project, it's it's been six years so far. Six years. Six years, yeah. Yeah, and um, did you have to uh, the parts that uh, you use are mm -hmm. they available, easy to no, no, find? No. Uh, and so the the well the engine the engine is available, easy to find. The propeller is available, easy to find. The uh, but everything that's new is all handmade. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not you, available and easy to find. Yeah, did you, all, did you do some of this thing so, yourself? So, um, uh, I worked with another company, but it's, um, I began the whole process. I began, it's all my basic, but I had to have engineers come in and finalize everything. Right. And then, uh, and I'm working with another company that has um, the ability to maintain what is called a supplement to the type certificate. Mm -hmm. Their craft is, is built to a specification that the FAA has approved that specification. Mm -hmm. Technical drawings and all this type of stuff. And then that all breaks down to what's called a type certificate data sheet. And then I've changed the aircraft. I've modified the airplane. Mm -hmm. And so the aircraft needs what's called as a supplement to the type certificate data sheet. Mm -hmm. so a supplement. A supplement. And so that's a change to the original type design of the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And then the FAA has to approve that, and then uh, and it gets uh, put into the FAA's paperwork. And once that S STC is approved, to make more parts, mm -hmm. you have to have a a, a big chain of uh, quality control operations uh, that you got to be able to uh, maintain a history of all the parts right. that go out. So it requires a. a fairly large corporation to maintain the supplement to the type certificate. So there's a lot of commitment uh, involved in it. You have to be really right. committed. But that's to why I used another company though too, right. uh, to work with me. So they, right. they, they work the engineering, they're going to be able to maintain the STC over the period of time. Me, I didn't want to do maintain, I didn't want to mm -hmm. do that part, mm -hmm. I wanted to have somebody. The airplanes. I want to convert the planes, get the airplanes up, and not maintain this. Yeah, yeah. is that uh, very expensive to have uh, a company I mean, doing the maintenance? Yeah, you got to have uh, you know four, a minimum of, of four individuals uh, on a constant payroll oh, to, wow. to 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 maintain the requirements for the FAA. Right. So, in terms of the that process from the beginning, building it, what was the most um, problematic aspect that you found? You know. In oh, that uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> the hard part is getting people to do what they say they're going to do when they're going to do it. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's been the hardest part. Yeah. So uh, now that it's built and uh, you had gone through so much, um, you know, with testing and uh -huh, yeah. all these things, um, what is the process of you before you can even take it for um, testing and approval? Uh -huh. what, what's the process that you've done here at your um, your private? Um, air, oh, you have well, your own airstrip. And so uh, the. The, the, the process for the STC, I guess maybe is what you're talking about. And yeah. then uh, uh, the first thing you do is you go to the FAA and you say, can I do this, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. And then they'll tell you if, if they're not going to approve it in the future. But they won't tell you that you're approved. Okay. They'll say, we're not going to approve it, so don't even start. Right. But they don't tell you, yes, you're approved. So they, you go first, you ask them, hey, I want to do this. Would you approve them? Not will you. Would you? Would you? <laughs> and then they so uh, so after they say yes, then you begin the modification process. Right. And then it's all the work of of manufacturing all the pieces to make it all go together and get it all built. Yeah. And then and then hopefully flyable. <laughs> okay. So um, uh, the company I worked with, they got it most of the way there. Me and Amiko, my wife, had to go and finish the plane right. and get. Plane actually flyable, right? And then, uh, and then I had to do the initial flight tests of the aircraft, make mm -hmm. sure that the aircraft was, uh, you know, it would fly, right? And then, um, <laughs> and so I got it all built, and uh, uh, I got it flying, and I did the first flight tests on the aircraft. How did you feel when you were? It's your first time. <laughs>